Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. What the heck is in the big box? Let's check this out. Get some bandage straps cut here. Holy moly, this thing's huge. Oh, check it out. I think this is that Baku e-bike that I ordered. Yes, sir. We got all kinds of parts here. I think they said to lay it down, slide it out. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, don't pay any attention to Max. <laughs> what do you think, Max? <laughs> all right. What do you think, Max? Huh? Is this yours? Go. All right. What do you think, Max? All right, folks. I think this is the first ever unboxing video for the Bacal Flatlander e-bike. This is pretty awesome. Um, I actually watched an install video, and uh, so I'm going to uh, just go from memory. I know it's like, man, you should read the directions. I'm like, well. I'm your typical guy who doesn't like to read instructions. So I think I'm just going to go from memory. If I remember correctly, they said to loosen the handlebar bolt, which I'm going to do right now. One thing nice, they actually include the tools. I was getting prepped because I printed the uh, manual um, a couple days ago and I was seeing all which tools I needed. And fortunately, they come with all the wrenches you need. Uh, I think they're like uh, three, four, five millimeter Allen wrenches, and then you got some uh, box wrenches, a three or a ten, and a fifteen millimeter box wrench. What do you think, Max? Come on, buddy. What do you think, huh? What do you think? Is this your new toy, huh? <laughs> yeah, my dog didn't know what to think. I tell you what, this thing's bigger than what I thought, but that's awesome, man. Alright, let's see. The computer goes on the port side, the left side. Okay, I see how that goes. And then they say that you have to position this um, to where the brake handles are about down at a 45 degree angle. So I'll show you guys, you can see a better view here of uh, just the install. I guess you can torque these down like you're doing the wheels on your truck. And the handlebars actually have some uh, parallel lines. They're kind of like, I guess, to grip, grip better on the clamp. Hey, folks, I want to show you something that was kind of confusing to me when I was reading the uh, manuals. So you're going to see two springs that come um, on this quick-release hub. Well, they're kind of shaped like a cone, okay? And if you ever work with quick, quick release uh, front wheels on a mountain bike or a bike, so the triangle, the smaller part, goes on the inside, and you're going to have, there are two springs, there's one on the starboard side and the port side, the uh, port side being the side with the uh, disc brake. So we'll go ahead and get them on now. Okay, so I like to, uh, you know, I've seen some other unboxing videos, and they try to put the front wheel with the bike right side up. I like to flip them upside down. I mean, I've worked on bikes and mountain bikes in the past. One thing I remember, there's a clip right here. Got to take that out. That's actually kind of protecting the uh, disc brake there. Then you want to carefully insert this. Making sure you're lined up. Slides right in place, just like that. Okay? Then you can just tighten the, hold your nut down on the would be on the side toward the camera and then tighten down your QD just like that man check tell you what that's pretty easy all right so let's go ahead and move to the uh, pedals now these pedals uh, they're marked R for right and L for left if you ever done pedals on bikes um, essentially the right hand pedals is going to be fastened on classically as righty-tighty 
clockwise tightness and then the left side is going to be lefty tidy counterclockwise so let's see this is the right side we're going to put this right side pedal on first and once again this is a 15 millimeter very nice that they included the uh, box wrench they do recommend some type of Loctite I'll probably put those on after the un unboxing video hand tighten those we'll go with the left side All right, now once again, this is lefty tidy. Because you think about it, when you're pedaling, uh, you're naturally going to be pedaling forward most of the time, and if this was righty tidy, it would actually loosen. So you don't, want, you don't want that to happen. So your natural movement on the left side or the port side, you'll be actually tightening the pedal. Just snug it up. Okay, that's pretty snug. Dude, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, I gotta charge the battery. Okay, next up, I gotta put the uh, front fender on. Okay, so I got the front fender positioned. That appears to be a 10 millimeter. Okay, got the fender on. All right, let me go ahead and uh, flip it back over. All right, check it out. That's pretty nice. Got a kickstand. I think the only thing left to do is charge the bat. I think the only thing left to do is charge the battery up. Actually, before I continue with the battery charging, if you watched my Shot Show uh, 2020 uh, a couple years ago, actually stop by the Flat Out booth. These guys are out of Texas, so I'm gonna put some of this. I think it's like it's gonna be a half a bottle per tire. So I'll do that later on. Just want to give a shout out to these guys. So here's the battery. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking it's going to go in this direction. Yeah, see how intuitive this is. I think you might need the keys to unlock it. Let's try that. Oh yeah. So it just snaps right in place there. Yep, that's pretty solid there. Okay, so I got the charger plugged in. So I have, we'll just go ahead and start charging the battery. What do you say? Oh, look, there's a USB plug on the one side. Oh, okay, battery charger's down here on the bottom. All right, there we go. Now she's charging. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Just a quick unboxing assembly video on the Baku Flatlander e-bike. Pretty awesome. I'm going to let the battery charge, and uh, the next video, we'll go for a ride. Remember, support our Second Amendment. We'll see you later.